Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's the Super Scooter Guy coming at you with another moto vlog. Um, today I want to talk about, I guess, motorcycle and scooter infrastructure, um, especially as it relates to the U.S., especially uh, comparatively to other other nations. Um, I ride in urban areas. Uh, I'm from the Northeast, so. Um, I'm pretty much in that Northeast Corridor area, so anywhere between kind of Boston and New York. And um, one of the bigger issues that we have as single track vehicle operators, um, two wheeled riders is, um, if you can look at my right side, you see all these streets that have kind of parking meters and obviously meter streets are kind of set up for cars and longer vehicles than the vehicles that we have. There isn't really, Kind of a motorcycle only type of parking maybe like at the end of the streets or um you know the front or the back of the streets nothing kind of set for us so it's like we're in that limbo type of situation do we park in a regular spot and kind of you know sit our vehicle in the middle to pay the meter and in a way kind of screw over all the drivers by taking over a full spot when our vehicles are you know a sixth of the length you know we could fit six bikes probably in the length of a car so for me it's kind of like i like to park at the front or the back of, uh, of a street partly because it's easier for me but also like i don't want to be a douche like what's the point of taking over a full parking lane that a car can easily kind of be in and then and use the meter so as a rider it's like yeah obviously i don't want to necessarily pay the parking fee since i feel like my bike is taking up a minuscule amount of space than a car would but at the same time i don't even want to do it for the benefit of the car driver where okay if i follow the rule and park at in the middle of the meter and claim it as my space then you have car drivers who will pass by the spot like really like i can easily park my car there like why are you being an asshole so i don't know i think the infrastructure kind of needs to be set up where it, it's kind of helpful for both drivers and also riders who are kind of riding to, you know, be more efficient. Um, me, I'm one person riding and I'm not necessarily um, using the full length of a car to, so I feel like there should be benefits to that. To a degree, I feel like I'm saving energy, using up less gas, be more efficient by you know, in a way, lowering the traffic amount. Um, and there should be kind of a payoff for that. Part of that maybe is just like dedicated motorcycle parking or, you know, free parking on the streets where there are meters and stuff like that. So for me, it's like, are the urban areas in the U.S. going to kind of do a better job at setting up an infrastructure for single track vehicles, um, namely motorcycles and scooters? Um, at the end of the day our roads are becoming more and more and more congested and you know if you just look at the highway and granted so that's a Yaris so that's positive she's in a small car but like how many people are one person in a massive vehicle I saw this woman in a Hummer earlier today by herself no kids no like cargo like nothing it's like kind of wasting all that space and efficiency and I should be paying the same amount in parking as that person I don't believe that so for me it's like how can uh, you know our municipalities kind of better assist us um, for providing a, a less congested traffic space so kind of leave comments what do you think about infrastructure in the US when it comes to motorcycles and scooters um do you think we need better infrastructure do you feel as if it's okay that we are s the same as a four-wheeled vehicle as many of our politicians and our lawmakers will say that we should be and thus we should follow and adhere to all the same rules um you know leave comments below let me know what you think um and that can also be in relation to again infrastructure also lane splitting things like that um because as a, a rider you see the road much differently than a driver and i've noticed that since i started riding it's like the road is actually more open than it appears in a car so 
I would say that's the main reason why riders do lane split and filter. Um, me personally, I prefer probably filtering than lane splitting, but that's a whole story for a different uh, video. But I can understand it because when we are riding, we see it completely different than drivers see it. Um, and we see that space that's accessible to us, but our lawmakers, except maybe in California, <laughs> our lawmakers feel like we should not be utilizing that space um, for our benefit and our um, ability to kind of better protect ourselves on the road. Um, so again, talk to me, leave comments below about infrastructure, both parking wise and urban areas on highways, maybe having dedicated lanes for cycling. Um, I know many in many places we are allowed to be in the HOV lane, which is definitely positive. But at the same time, like you see right now, you see how open this road is for me? I see it, but a car feels like I shouldn't be here. And that's, that's not right. So um, again, leave comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.